guys welcome back nick up here at maple motors in hendersonville tennessee and today's ride is a 1959 studebaker this one's got the v8 under the hood looks like power steering look around up under here and of course we'll be taking this one down the road pointing out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting it's got dual fans oversized aluminum radiator should be pretty fun we don't get too many of these in got disc brakes in the front aftermarket american racing wheels all the way around got big old fins silver hawk dual exhaust detailed pictures finance and shipping all available at maplemotors.com go there check it out hit subscribe it's about that time let's go for a ride before we take off we'll look around the interior check some stuff out Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Game we like to play on the channel. Showing 91,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that in a 59 model. The interior is super nice. I like the door panels in the back, the seats. The package tray is nice. Your headliner is super clean. I think the only thing that I would upgrade is these visors. Somebody handmade these homemade visors there. And you got a rip up top, and a mirror there. Oh, there's a hole here that's been covered up. Looks like they tried to run some speaker wires and they put a mirror there. That's a weird spot for a mirror. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and start her up. Let's see here. Starts up pretty easy. Temp is still low. Oil pressure is up. Clock. Sometimes you can... Nope, not working. Wipers on. They do work. Mm -hmm. Cut it back off. Mm -hmm. Radio. I can hear it making noises, but it's not playing any music, so we'll say it needs repair. Heat. The switch is definitely stiff and messed up and not working on the heater. not working either gas gauge well we're gonna stop and get some let's say that turn signals left side is it blinking can't see it right side is it blinking still can't see it bulbs could be out we'll check the lights themselves steering feels good horns you place your bets horn is not hooked up it's not working but we're gonna hit the road and see what else we can find. First things first, we're rolling out, heading to the gas station. And of course, anything I see you're gonna know about. That is why I do these videos for you. Checking the brakes before we roll out. See if we stop it on it. waiting on this guy to go he stalled up maybe he's seen this car and was like hold up <laughs> I haven't driven one of these in a while somebody tinted the front windshield too let's go man all right you're not gonna go up rolling out Speedometer is coming up on the dash there. And we're going straight as an arrow. This thing's not pulling left or right. Steering's decent. Feels pretty good. Pink out is hooked up in this one. Pretty responsive. A little bit of a pop from the rear end. You hear that? Getting in those brakes. Brakes are pulling to the left when you get in the throttle. I mean, get in the pedal there, not throttle. And that feels like it's getting better. We may have had some dust on our brakes there. Pull 
pulling to the gas station. Uh, main reason is because the gas gauge right now is buried on E, so it's, it's saying we need fuel. We'll see if that works. A lot of times when these cars are shipped to us, the shipping trucks will not allow them to have over a quarter tank. And I think they drain out a little bit more to keep the gas. <laughs> That's why I'm always having to stop and get fuel. And to be honest with you, I don't know which side the gas tank's on. Let's see. Oh. It's on my side. Easy enough. We've made it up here. Anything else I see, I'll let you know right now. Gas gauge is on E. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Talk about style, man. You get this thing off the lot, it really pops. That's what happens a lot of times when I'm on these test drives. I'll get the car off the lot and really, really notice how much it stands out. Even the, the back looks like it could be a front end. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, it took twenty dollars worth of fuel. A little over four gallons now. Right here. I don't know if the gas gauge works yet, but we're about to find out. Let's see. I guess it's not hooked up. Gotta be careful, this little window's got some cracks in it. I hear the turn signal. It's slow. Okay. Got her in drive there. We're rolling out to the next location. Let's see if we can get some undercarriage shots. Okay, 
Let's roll, guys. Rolling out of here. The, there's the GoPro destroyer. <laughs> I still do stuff in this parking lot. And I mean, as intentional as that looked, it really was. He don't remember it. <laughs> so, what do you do? Nothing. <laughs> I know y'all were asking about the guy. What he did was I put the GoPro on the ground one day and I do the undercarriage shots. Well, he ran over it. And it was dead on and everything. But he don't remember it, so I just said, okay, man. And he even said, nice car to this one just now. down the road here it actually runs it drives pretty good I mean it's pretty straight the only thing I noticed a little bit of a pop from the rear end when you get into the throttle there you can hear it may need to be tightened up So the paint on this one turned out pretty good. I walked around and checked all of it out. It was in great shape. And the interior's already been redone. There's something rolling around in there. Looked like a valve stem It was in the glove box. Little bump. Pretty smooth. Right around the corner from the car lot here. And of course we'll pull in. I've got another test drive I'd like to get done today, but I'm gonna go in and build this video and get it put out for y'all so you know what you're getting here. I do appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, getting ready to walk around this ride. Anything I find you'll know about it. There's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Let's get started here. A little chip there in the front. A little scuff here. spots there at the bottom the bubbles in the paint here some water there spot there that rear bumper there's a spot lines on the paint come right off door handles in decent shape dirt there back over the top Little speck on top of the paint it come right off front windshield has got a spot in it needs to be replaced a little bit of pitting on your mirror. The window here also needs to be replaced. It's cracked. A 
Back window looks good, trim looks good. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk here. They've carpeted the trunk and it's glued down. Seal looks good around the trunk. A little bit of rust popping up on the corner there of the trunk lid. It's like good uh, insulation up under in the trunk. Coming down with the trunk lid here, the lock needs to be replaced. I used a screwdriver to open this one. This lock back. A little bit of fitting tail lights. A little crack right there in the lens. spot there all right coming down this side lower portion first little spots there Back that midsection. Little dings on the handle there. The spots down in here. Back window, good. Trim is also in good shape. Little spots popping up there. A little bubble there. This side of the windshield looks all right. Oh. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll get her started up. Door handle a little loose there. Still opens good. Carpet in this one been replaced it looks great the seat itself also looks awesome headliner not bad steering wheel on this one got some chunks missing out of it Little cracks in the center See the fabrics coming off there. 
some dents there. Let's see if I can open it. That's pretty clean. Homemade visors there with the holes behind them when I showed you in the beginning. Let's go ahead and start it up. Chips here on the edge, little spot there, in the corner there. There we are. A little bit fitting here. Spot here in the corner. All right, we made it around the ride, picked out the flaws, did the test drive. I hope you enjoy it. Hit subscribe, share this video. There's detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. And uh, of course, leave me some comments if you have any suggestions of how to make these videos better. Because I do this every day. All right, guys, let's hit the road. See you later.